Hey guys, and welcome to my newest Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you a mod installation tutorial. Um, how to install the mod. Ray's Minimap. Now, the reason I'm doing one on this is because I previous I recently found out about this, and it's amazing. Like, I mean, it caught my attention more than any other. So, I'm just going to download it. I'll have the link in the description for you guys to download it. Um, it's going to send you this page here, which I'm not, I have an ad block tool for Google Chrome. It's called Adblock, and it will delete everything pretty much on this page. Um, so, actually, you're just going to click download mod. It'll be in green. Um, so don't click on any other things, because... If you enable it on this page, it will have nothing here, literally nothing here. So, that's why I want to enable it, try to show you the direct area to download it. Now, once you've downloaded it, find where, um, put it on your desktop, and open it up. You're going to see three files. A folder called, um, the guy that made its name, and this is actually going to have a lot, but we don't have to worry about any of this stuff. Um, so you're going to take these three files, you just want to keep this in mind. Uh, go down to the start button, and if you have Windows 7, there's going to be the typing bar here. If you have Windows XP, there will be a run bar. Click that, whatever. Um, type in percent app data. Percent. So then you just want to, um, click roaming, or just press enter, and dot Minecraft. Once you're in here, this is where you open up your bin folder right click the mod executable jar file and if i didn't mention before you also need winrar archiver which will be in the description as well or winzip if you have either that so in here you're going to delete the meta in file by right clicking delete files yes make sure you have minecraft closed or it will give you like some error and now we just want to go into the raise minimap and copy everything right into it now if you're if you're not thinking about getting the the mini map, I suggest it. Um, I'm 100% for it. It doesn't really decrease my gameplay and it doesn't make me lag. And it just makes it makes everything look so much cooler. So I'm gonna just start up my server, um, which I run from time to time. And look at this. If you look at the mini map in the right corner, that's the spawn building. That looks really cool. Um, from c looking at it in my screen, you just, it doesn't look like pretty cool. And then you just, you, you look at the minimap and it, it changes your perspective on how the building looks itself. Um, I didn't even notice that house over there. Um, so if you press M, it'll actually bring up a menu. Now you can enable it, disable it. So it doesn't even matter. You could just disable it, enable it, um, render type. You could do surface. You could do the biome, the temperature, humidity, surface. Exactly. Um, death points. It'll show you. It'll like show your death where you died. So. Um, Oh, look at that. There's an X on the minimap showing where I died. So I'm just going to walk over to it. And, oh, I'm right where I died. Okay, the X went away. Perfect. Let's press M. Um, about minimap, minimap options, surface map options, exit, key config, waypoints, all that. So, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and... If you thought this was a pretty cool mod installation tutorial and it helped you, um, please, please, just subscribe, favorite, even like it. You can comment if you want. Just, uh, it helps me a lot and it makes me feel good. So it makes me feel proud of myself. So, thank you. Um, hope you enjoyed. If this helped for you and stuff. So see you later, guys. Bye.